Hey guys, how are y'all doing? I promised you a PM video. First of all, you want to make sure all your lights work. Okay, as you're pulling in, turn your lights off. If you have to have somebody stand, tell you if your lights are working. Same goes for the rear. You got brakes, reverse, turn signals. You got to make sure all your lights are working. Check for coolant leaks. Make sure it's all dry. You also want to just see if you got fuel leaks. Check your data on your air filters. If it makes you see, check it out. See if it needs blowing out, cleaning out, replacing. This right here is where you want to check your linkages. Check, make sure everything is nice and tight you know check your shocks make sure if you have oil down here then shocks are bad you know look at your leaf springs everything works in conjunction you got your brake chamber plunges out pushes your slack adjuster your slack adjuster turns your S cam inside that tube all these have grease fittings all this all these parts have grease fittings that need, you know, greasing up here also. All this has grease. There's a grease fitting right here. Make sure you don't pass up any grease fittings. Make sure you check all leaks, anything wet, anything you see. These are Cascadia engines. This is the new type of Detroit that are coming out. So this is what most of y'all are going to get to work on. Like I say, you check your lights, dash panels. <clears throat> Later we'll get into how to check your brakes. You know, pressing them, make sure it's gonna start dinging whenever it hits the low pressure. This one here particularly is here for an air leak, so we got, you wanna check your air bags, and obviously these are bad, so we'll have to find us an air leak somewhere. And what happens is, I've actually went to a service call where the air lost it and it's set just like it is right now and the drive line went flying. Yeah, so you wanna make sure you check everything. Your air leaks are important. Fifth wheel, if you notice it's been A&B used for a while, but when you put, you wanna make sure you apply grease, put it here. That way it runs forward and you don't put it all over the place and all it does is just keeps falling over and falling over. Check your airbags. And check your pumpkins. You have to check your pumpkins. Make sure your fluid's all the way to the top. You know? You have to do that. And you'll be able to notice because you'll leave a little residue out there if you check it correctly. You'll be able to see. I'll be able to see if you checked it or not, you know? And you want to put your... You want the fluid to get at least to that first line of your finger. That's when you know you're full, you know? Check your airbags. Now in here, you, you can, sometimes not because of these dust covers, you won't be able to, but at the bottom, you sometimes be able to look up in here and check your wheel seals. Now I can see from right here, that drum, it looks very bad. So obviously this is where I, this is gonna need drums and brakes because if the drum looks like that, the brakes surely will too. Everything works together. You know, if, if the brake chamber's not working, it's not getting enough air, and it's not going to plunge your uh, brake chamber out. So that means your S cam that your uh, slack adjust is turning is not going to turn correctly. I mean, everything works together. You just have to check, make sure your fittings are good, your U joints. Make sure you check them. Everything you do it as you as you work in your way back to the truck. You know, obviously, you, what I do is drain the fluid. Okay, you drain your oil. In this particular engine, you got your oil filter up here, but a lot of times you're gonna have it in between the frame, usually on the passenger side. On this one right here, the fuel filters are right here, but most of the time you'll have them up in here on the driver's side. So, you'll, uh, we'll, we'll later work on how to take filters off on which engines, you know, Caterpillar engines, Detroit engines, Cummins engines. 
And like I say, you just want to go over everything. Check your, your windshield wipers. Make sure they're cleaning good. Make sure your squirters are squirting. If not, you know, you start checking your, your, uh, your pump down here, you know, your little pump for your windshield wiper fluid. Check your coolant levels. You notice it has sensors. If, there, if the coolant is down low past some sensors, you got a problem. And most likely you probably have a leak somewhere so like I said it is not really just it's just so that you're only doing a p.m. however though not only does the customer see that you went thorough through their truck and found the problems that could later cost them to break down on the road but you also get to know yourself you familiarize yourself with the truck every part you know but as, as you come along checking you know while you're under here you're obviously going to check your transmission fluid unless it's an automatic then you know but if it's a standard then you are going to have a fill side little fill plug and again you're going to measure your finger just like you did back here with the rear ends you'll open it stick your finger in and just make sure that it's fluids up to that level at least no less you know trying to say what else your airlines your airlines make sure your airlines are put away make sure they're not gonna drag in the driveline area once they get hooked up you know your tires now some places you will have a list an actual list a checklist from the front to the back uh, and some of them will include well how much is each tire and tread and you'll have to measure each tire and tread how much air does this each tire have and you have to write down and then get it to either 95 to 100 pounds no more than 110 now you, you have to remember the heat will compress your air so it's if you put 100 once they're running down the highway it'll expand to 110 so you just don't want it less than 95 you don't want no more than 110 um, so these are just pointers these are just pointers things you want to look at and things that are going to help you get familiarized with your truck always check you got shocks here you got shocks here and what you do what I do is as I come down the line greasing my u-joints greasing my s cams my slack adjuster you know I, I go checking my springs checking bolts checking my u bolts just making sure everything's in place my torque arms you know these vent tubes you'd be surprised how important these are if these are plugged up then your pumpkin is not going to be able to breathe therefore blowing out your wheel seals so always check your wheel seals you never know what's happening with these trucks on the road always check your wheel seals because if dot stops the truck and they do a thorough inspection and they find a wheel seal bad on the truck guess what they're gonna shut them down until somebody on the road comes and fixes it for them again a PM is called preventative maintenance you're trying to help the customer prevent maintenance on the road so the more details you are in checking your stuff the more better they're off once they leave your shop you know on this side see this side I can just visibly see the, the drums so that lets me know the drums are shot that lets me know that the brakes probably look the same as well so this is just a few pointers you know later we'll go into detail for example on how to change a wheel seal how to check and diagnose your brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights, how to install maybe some cab airbags, some suspension airbags, even a shock. If you don't have a technique, now you'll see you'll have my way, you'll have uh, the people who taught me their way, like everybody has their way of doing it. Learn from everybody, don't just, don't just think you know it, learn from them. And at the end, 
figure out what's the easiest way for you to get stuff done you know whenever I get a rear end job I'll definitely make a video of how to get a rear end out how to get the next one in usually you have to pull these axles that's another thing you make sure you check your axles make sure they ain't got no oil coming around them you do have a gasket in between here so you want to make sure you're not slinging oil around the DOT will see that and they will get stopped so if you can help them by making sure that there's your air dryer now those look those cause a lot of service calls sometimes sometimes they, the purge valve gets stuck and that's either because there's a lot of dirt water something that's been there these are a lot of service calls we'll later learn how to do a seven way you know but I was gonna point out your hubcaps like I'm saying you make sure one you have a fill level around here now uh, you have a fill level right there it says full and then you check your fluid see how it looks you know if you have to you can add, add it through here or add it through up here whichever way but you just want to make sure that there's no it's not over full slinging out of here slinging out of back yonder somewhere you know steer is very important these treads cannot go as as down as them treads those treads the lowers you can go as 430 seconds I'm sorry 230 seconds this one's 430 seconds so once these are wore out you got to change these out later we'll do a tire swap out video like I said first and uh, that's actually one be going to be one of the things you'll probably be doing when you first get hired you'll be trained how to do tires because that's that's a little heart uh, back breaking sometimes until you start getting your technique down or unless you're doing a super single Ugh. but anyways I hope y'all enjoyed this video it wasn't much just a little just pointers here and there um, mainly that's what I'll be doing for uh, to begin with just giving y'all pointer videos nothing too big if y'all have questions let me know what what do you know what's this what's that uh, what about this what about that I need to know what y'all thinking <laughs> that way I can better describe everything that you got going on here's your battery box guys you always want to make sure your cables are nice and tight and these right here look like they're dressed and everything so Apparently they've been they've been took care of but you still want to make sure that you don't have a positive cable touching ground somewhere or something you know but anyways just another just another pointer you use some checklists and some places you that will be on your checklist for a p.m. so you know some places get very detailed on their checklist that you know some places they just want you to do an oil change and kind of look go look through the truck and it's good to go so you just you want to do the best you can you make yourself you set yourself up on what you're going to look at as you go from the front as you work your way under the truck up here up there inside you just work your way checking everything you know all the way back here you know and you work your way you, you check what I done pointed out you know you put your grease up in here you check your U joints, you check your last wheel seals, you check your airbags, your life. You'll get faster and faster. That's for it, right? That's for that's it for right now, guys. I will make another video soon. Y'all have a good one.